All right, so I just got word that there was a restock earlier today. Let's see what's going on. So we have a whole bunch of score packs, match attacks, Iron Colts Fed packs, and football blasters. No basketball, I guess it's all gone. But check it out, they got a whole bunch of Fed pack boxes there. Holy crap. And the new Pokemon. I haven't seen those around yet. So, first time seeing that. Alright, so I haven't checked this aisle in a long time. Gonna go electronics now for the trading cards. I got Shining Fate stuff, a whole bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh, pretty much some old stuff. This is where all the magic is, of course. This is where it's gonna be. Oh, check it out, Bowman Fat Packs, dude. I wonder why they didn't put these over there. There's a bunch. What the hell? I guess nobody even checks here anymore. Look, they got, you know, I think there's a reason why these are here. Because this stuff, all this top stuff, baseball went up. So I'm assuming that uh, people don't want to buy it. It's just too, a little bit too expensive in my opinion. So. Alright, going to take a couple of top loaders for sure. Soccer. I don't think I've I don't think I've opened any of this stuff or I've I don't think I've opened any of this yet. Definitely take a couple Bowman packs for sure. Wow. Alright, so we got the stuff. Only ended up picking up two of the baseball packs. They were way overpriced in my opinion. So that's all we got. We got the stuff right here. Probably gonna break some tonight. We'll see. All right, take it easy, guys. Hey, folks. Welcome back to the channel. Okay, so I'm gonna be opening some Bowman seal packs. Uh, these were totally unexpected. I mean, I they just got me off guard. No clue I was gonna find these. Um, I actually thought that all the baseball stuff was actually. Um, up in electronics as you guys seen there was only football and the Pokemon but these were at the toys I'm like what the hell and it's been a long time since I checked the toy aisle so that really surprised me to find these really crazy and um, what was also crazy was the prices on these wow <laughs> I mean it was almost like $30 for one of these so that is a really big surprise. Uh, just, I mean, it's, it's just gone really, really crazy, these prices. And, of course, this is all due to the demand. All the scalpers, the flippers, all that. I mean, I, I can just assure that's what it is. And pretty much these companies are now stepping up and marking up everything. So, will we see this in the future with Panini? I mean, it's kind of getting there. And I mean, actually, I should say it's already there, but will it continue to happen with almost every product? Who knows? I guess we're gonna have to see. But tops, man, they're not playing around. That's for sure. So, gonna be opening these up and see if I get anything good. There's two 2021 Bowman packs, and one of them is the exclusive Camel Parallels, very traditional. So, let's go ahead and open this up and see what I get. And of course, there's a little security tag on there. So, there's uh, 12 cards. Wait, where's the. Uh, I guess they must be in the pack. I don't know. Guess we'll have to see. 
I know before I think it was a separate pack if I'm not mistaken. So I guess we'll have to see on that one. I don't see the other pack. I mean it does say two packs. All right, here we go. Sale Tuve, first cart. Peter Lonzo, Manny Machado, Luis Garcia rookie, Six Hill Sanchez rookie, rookie of the year favorites Luis Garcia, Pernas Chrome inserts, Futurist, Heston, Churchstead, I think it is. Gonna have to go back and. Uh, see his pronunciation for the uh, the last name for the last name okay so the camels are in here first Bellman Ismail Mena and I like the camels this year they look pretty pretty tacky nice digital design right there Nolan Jones the second camo, Nick Gonzalez, Bowman Chrome, Emerson Hancock, Bowman Chrome, Arroyce Lewis, these are, oh, Bobby Witt Jr., and Matt Manning. Okay, so let's open the second pack. I forget how many cards you get out of the, the fat packs. Scherzer, Chris Bryant, Anthony, Santander. Is that part of the card? I think it is. Huh. Okay. Bobby Delbeck with the rookie. Christian Pache. Cool. Pretty nice. Cabra Reese, rookie. Next, we got a Julio Rodriguez, Jared Kalenic, Darren McCoggin with the talent pipeline. There's the third camo, CJ Abrams, Julio Rodriguez, and Shea Langoliers. Brandon Marsh, Marco Luciano, a Blaze Jordan first Bowman, pretty nice. Do you have a Do you have one already? But it never hurts to you know have an extra one. Alec Thomas and Wander Franco for the last ones. All right, so that's gonna do the first seal of packs. Open up the second one. All right, here we go. Man, I still can't believe these prices. That's insane. <laughs> I mean, it was going to happen, folks. I mean, it's been how long since these products haven't mark been marked up? Francisco Lindor. I mean, I came back into the hobby when a lot of this stuff was, I don't know, Things these were like ten bucks before. JD Martinez, Austin Hayes, Evan White rookie, Letty Tavares rookie, another pipeline. Bobby Witt Jr. Futurist, pretty nice. I really love love the design of Futurist. I mean. It's very abstract, very, very colorful, vibrant. What makes it even better is the, uh, the hollow look. All right, Logan Gilberts with camo. Byron, Byron. I was gonna say Byron Scott, Bryson Stott, <laughs> Alec Thomas with the first uh, first Bowman, regular Bowman, Nick Bitsko. Another Bryson. Oh, that was the the camo. Jordan Walker. 
and Bo Nailer. So not many first Bowmans, not many of them. Pretty sure before I used to get a lot of them. I mean, I, I'm not gonna kid, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I have like a box filled with first Bowmans and a lot of prospects from 2018. Shohei Otani, having such a great year. Glad I kept all those Otani rookies, guys. I seriously was gonna get rid of them, like. God, that didn't happen. Brian Anderson. You know, before I used to, when I when I used to see like stats and everything, they used to be like a little profile with the players, like they had their Twitter handle or or something. But I don't see it anymore. Or is that what regular top series? I don't know. Bryce Harper. Yadier Molina. And we got a retro Bowman coming up, Dallin Carlson. It's pretty cool. I love the finish on this. Pretty traditional of tops. A Joe Adele, Bowman Scouts Top 100. We got a Bryce Terang, Robert Hassell, and Garen Mitchell. For the last camel, Tristan Casas, Bowman Chrome, Jeremy De La Rosa, first Bowman. Cool. Maximo Costa, first Bowman. Jacia Gray, I think it is, for my Dodgers, and Francisco Alvarez. So, pretty cool. Not a bad finish. I kind of feel like I mix up all the cards. Like, whenever this happens, I'm like losing concentration. Like, what's going on here on the table and then all the freaking cards but anyways so that's gonna do it for the video folks hopefully we'll find something better next time on the Bowman maybe an autograph who knows it is what it is it's a hit or, hit or miss you guys know this and um, yeah alright thanks for watching guys